Hi, my name is Shubra. I'm from WPS Technical Support Team. Today, we will talk about the selection of electrodes that we offer to measure electrical resistance in order to calculate transepithelial electrical resistance, referred as TEER of cellular monolayers or tissues grown on permeable support. For example, cell culture inserts. I'm going to talk about the benefits and challenges of using electrodes in the context of measuring electrical resistance of cells and tissues. First, you will need an EVOM2, which supplies very low current, around 10 microamps, to obtain resistance measurements. Now, I'm going to talk about different types of electrodes. The basic electrode is the STX2. This chopsticks style electrode has one long and one short leg. The outer electrodes pass the current and the inner electrodes detect the voltage. While measuring, be sure to hold the electrode vertically. Tilting the electrode may affect resistance measurements. The XTX3 is an upgraded version of STX2. There are two screws which can be used to adjust the gap between the electrodes. The XTX3 is better suited for use in certain cell culture inserts and well played setups where the STX2 may be challenging to use. Remember to use caution so that you do not tilt these chopstick electrodes. Holding them at an angle may affect measurements. STX100 electrodes minimize the data variability caused by human error. The XTX100 electrodes offer higher precision since they sit stably in a well plate. You do not need to keep holding the electrode during measurement. The upper part of the STX100 is made of solid metallic component so that it is rigid. This electrodes may only be used with specific well plates containing permeable membranes. The STX100 has several options which are compatible with specific cell culture plates. For example, the STX100M may be used with the Millipore 96 well plate. You cannot use a STX100F with this plate. Choose the electrode according to your requirements. Please refer to STX100 compatibility chart in the WPI website. Using STX electrodes, we can record resistance measurements inside a well plate. If you're concerned that your cells are loosely attached to the cell culture inserts and may get dislodged, STX electrodes may be a suitable choice for you.